Hey guys, most awesome cupcake here. Welcome back to Bioshock Infinite Pearl at Sea. Supper's getting cold. Here I am. No gun, huh? Okay, so I just wasted my time in here. Completely. It's all going so slow because I have to sneak and so I don't make any sounds. What is that? No one was in there. Oh, I'm sorry. Session. Now I should just ex oh, <laughs> No excuse for a racket. Come out and show yourself. did this ain't far. I got a long way that I should. I saw where you went. How can I keep it from happening to me? I ain't through with you yet. You'll know you were in a fight. Don't no excuse for a racket. Not to show yourself. Is this even the correct way? Oh! And that's how you do it when you don't have any ammo. Rush into it and hope for the best. Scared again. No. So if I do this, fuck. It's not the correct way. Where the fuck do you want me to go? There's no map. There's no nothing. What you done to my friend here? What you do to my friend, you do to 
just ran in here hoping for the best and it was not not the so correct thing. Those most A good start is thinking for yourself. Yeah? Atlas sent me here for some old man winter. You haven't been around here long, have you? What makes you say that? Because <laughs> eh, you're the only one of us who don't smell like the reptile house at the zoo. Oh. Now be quick about it and just take the winter. This ain't the goodwill. No, of course not. I'll take just the winter. I swear. Almost. Oh, fuck you, me. I'm scared. I'll just take all your tea. Oh, it's nice to be. <clears throat> so, uh, so Atlas asked me to figure out where to uh, strike first when we bust out of this place, but, you know, it all depends on when we get out. You know, I mean, November 5th It's a big founding of Rapture Shindig at uh, Fort Frolic. Valentine's Day, you know, I mean, Arcadia is real popular. Uh, I mean, it's near New Year's Eve, then, hey, we could pop the corks off all the stuffed shirts down at the Cashmere restaurant. Uh huh. Let's watch a movie. The time has come, brothers and sisters. Did you want to keep climbing Andrew Ryan's ladder just to watch him knock it down as you're reaching the top? No. The cards are stacked. That's a bunch of fine words. If there ain't beads to back them up. Rapture was supposed to be different. But the only thing that separates it from the slums of New York or Glasgow are about a million gallons of salt water. Ryan sent a clear message when he had Frank Fontaine put down. It's time all you learned your place. I tell you what, Ryan. Message received. Loud and clear. And here's what the people of Rapture have to say to you. If you won't give us what we want, we're more than happy to come and take it. But I thought that Atlas was Andrew Ryan. Did he just pretend because he thought it was cool or some shit? Ah, oh, that's why you put up there, because you put up on the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hi. Tell Ryan things are getting hot down here real fast. The goddamn leprechaun is building himself a regular army. And if you'd ask my opinion, which you didn't, I'd send a crew down here and clean up the place before they show up on your doorstep. But who am I? Hmm. Oh, shit, sorry. Looks like someone's been decrypting a code. We've confirmed completion of the ace in the hole. Su Chong has it, but unlikely to give it up easily. We'll update when we know more. What's that all about? Who knows? I'm 
need all four coaches. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm not gonna do that. If that happens, it's all accidental. Like, I am not gonna look for it. Because I have a hard enough time to complete it as it already is. Freeze your enemies. Shatter them into a thousand pieces. And use them as drinks. Drink your enemies. Just what we needed. That was the last of it. Now you think you can manage the repair? Sure. Say thank you. Fixing quantum field generators. Yeah, how are you? You're so smart, you're stupid! Okay, so we're going back to the restaurant. Is it that dart from the paper? Spying on me again. I warned you to stop following me. This is what happens when you swim with the sharks. I didn't touch you. I didn't say you could go. No need to panic. Nice and open fridge. What the fuck do you want from me? Are you kidding me? I'm all the way back here.
Oh, okay, so you actually don't hear me. So the person before her apparently were an, an enemy. Okay. Just remember that someone's gonna come up here. Let's just pretend that nothing. <sighs> okay, okay, I think I did it. I think I did it. to actually walk around here. That's the fridge that we saw before. Three lock picks are possible. Switch table, thank you. That I can certainly need to What do I need to do? Just... Uh -huh. Well, not the perfect phosphor frequency, but it'll do. Now we won't immediately die of CO2 poisoning the moment we turn the thing on. <sighs> okay, that should stop it from overheating. There, everything's fixed. We're ready. Let's fire it up and see. Hell yes! Hell yes! Enter! Fuck! Oh, let's just go back to Colombia. Never thought I'd come back to Colombia. Let's just... <sighs> Booker. Look. You're on the first lady. Ah, uh, she would like a potato con quantum particle. Why can't I wear that? It can't be this easy. The First Lady Mark II was built around a particle lift system just like all the buildings in the city. I read all about it in the Columbian Scientific. The particle seated at the top of the structure must be up that lift. Perfect. Seems like a lot of technology just to float an airship. Comstock never heard of hydrogen. The First Lady Mark I did run on hydrogen, and it was destroyed by a single bullet from a Vox sniper. Unfortunately, the Prophet wasn't on board at the time. Yeah, unfortunately. Risk of death or serious injury. Seriously. If I take the active particle, then the First Lady is just a 40 ton paperweight. Best to take the spare. What? No, come on, let's just take this one. What, 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 what's that? Here we go. Now let's head back through that tear. You honestly expect Atlas to honor his side of the deal? No. I will cross that bridge when we come to it. How do you plan on handling Atlas? 
Yeah, just some spliced up maniac. He'll make a mistake. I just have to be ready to take advantage of it when it happens. All for a girl you barely know. How well did you know me when you came to Columbia? <laughs> Pretty lady not finished yet. What? Open the tear. Power for devices, very expensive. Need for that? Just tell me what you want. So John wanted something as simple. Lock of hair. Oh, you're not serious. Not in your hair, stupid! Think Hodge's secret lab. Mothballed, forgotten. In there, hair sample. In jar. Cannot miss it. You get for Sutra. Then, everybody friends. Where is his lab? Closed off, past Fink's quarters. And you smart lady, you find. Oh, should have seen that one coming. Oh, and now we open the fucking door. Vox Populi, we must have arrived right in the middle of the siege. That means the other you and I are probably inside the factory. On our way up to the First Lady. And what happens if we run into ourselves? We won't. How do you know that? Because we didn't. Uh... Hello. Oh, it's that one. Into your gun. Huh. That wouldn't be bad. I don't know if it if it's nice or, or what to be back. I feel like it's a little easier for me <laughs> to play this. Something that I'm not seeing here. I mean, I can't just be supposed to jump. And I can't touch anything here. Do we need the clothes? No. Do we need to use the this? No. Do we need to jump over the edge? Huh? No? Look at that. I just need to go right over there. Oh, okay, that doesn't work. I, I got it. Is there a door I didn't see here? Okay, what the fuck do you want? A little sister, huh? I've taken your counsel, and you done me good service, but I will not hurt the boy. <gasps> I will see Fink and Comstock burn, but I will not hold the son to account for the deeds of his father. You've misunderstood us. We neither asked you to harm the child. Nor did we promise that yours would be the hand that would set Comstock's world afire. A famous man once said, And a famous man shall say, I may reach the mountaintop, but I fear I shall never visit the valley below. But you mean I won't live to see the... No. It's up to you what matters more. Your part in the play. Or the play itself. Someone is coming. She'll arrive a girl. She must leave a woman. And what makes the difference between a girl and a woman? Blood. Your part in the play. Or the play itself. Turn her into a killer? How? Give the girl no choice. And she will be forced to make one. You made us do that? So she were actually never go. She knew she was gonna die and she was never gonna harm the child. Oh fuck. You two are crazy. 
No, go up, go away. <sighs> I swear. <laughs> like the next game I'm gonna play is gonna be like something easy and where you're not supposed to shoot and run around killing. I was lucky there. Holy fuck, I was lucky. Oh! Shotgun! Shotgun! Yes! Yes, yes, yes. I don't have a fucking gun. What am I supposed to do? Oh yeah, I was supposed to put another that fucking thing. too much about not making too much noise oh hi as written in the people's voice such is the fate of all hoarders and exploiters hey for the box <sighs> all the nice colors I'm just like I love Bioshock and everything but I'm just so ready for this to be over it's, I'm so tense whenever I play this think probably a sleep work Leisha not all the doors are open oh Sort of. Looks like the mechanism unlocks certain activities when Fink gives his blessing. So what? We're stuck waiting for the cuckoo to go off? No, there's a... there's a slot for some kind of key for manual winding. We just gotta find that. <sighs> seems like a lot of work to lock down a few doors. You know, if there's one thing Fink loves, it's a lot of work. Got the clock key. Okay, that was easy. Okay, I was. I swear, I was about to go out. Someone's gonna be in there. Like I swear, I was about to go up and out for me again. 
I didn't think it was gonna be that easy. Okay, fuck, that was noisy. Able Profit Untold Profit Is that it? Is there nothing else on you? Come on, come on As to the matter of religion, let me place myself in the camp of the agnostic. I pretend to understand the mysteries of the infinite no more than you, Comstock, or anyone else for that matter. But for the sake of argument, let's say this is all one unhappy accident, and we're all alone in our toils. Then who would Comstock use to control and shame us with rules that apply only to those without a penny in their pocket? If there were no God, you could rest assured the first deed done by the first rich man would be inventing him. Uh huh. Interesting, but uh... If there is a god, and I've seen more evidence to the contrary than in support, you'd think he'd have put Adam into the belly of a nice little seagull or crow. The cost of all these underwater expeditions are murdering my margins. Ah, injectables, that's from, from Bioshock. Oh, you stairs instead of that. I mean, that's so stupid, you're allowed to drink. I mean. Let's go to the work. Good. How to get that idiot his lock of hair? Nicey, nicey. I have to end the episode, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope to see you in the next episode in the second I got you your job I'm here for my but my booker to win died for the fox popular you either an imposter <gasps> or a ghost my booker to win was a hero to the cause a story to tell your children you <gasps> look are you there I miss you. You were the only one who ever. You were my only friend. Booker. I'm not even here. I'm a projection of your own. Could you humor me then? Please. I think Booker would miss you. Such humor. Much wow. I know I just ended up, but now I fucked it through. Yeah, okay. But, hope to see you next episode, so bye!